So now that we have restored the Roman Empire, I think it only makes sense to Latinize uh, the name of, of our empire because, you know, the Latin language is, is very important to the Roman Empire. Of course, Greek had a very huge impact, the Greek culture, the Greek language, uh, Greek mythology. All of this had an incredible impact on the Roman society, but still, uh, even though the Greek language, especially in the Eastern Roman Empire, had a very huge uh, a very huge importance. I still think now that we restored the Roman Empire, we fully, we fully, well, restored it, I guess, in, in a way, um, we should just change the name. And that's what I did. If other, um, you know, if other people think that uh, they want to change it back, that's totally fine. But under my rule, under the rule of Empress Solaria the Glorious, we will be known as Imperium Romanum. And also, I've decided to rename, to Latinize our uh, house name. So my father uh, decided to change the coat of arms of our house, and I've decided to change our name. So House YouTube is now known as House Tutubus, which will, which technically means the same thing, uh, if my Latin is right. But uh, yeah, so there we are. I could also go and change my culture. I'm not sure if I'm ready to do that, to be honest. I'm not sure if I'm ready to change my culture. Um, let me quickly... Let me quickly see. I can do... No, that's just... Can I change my culture? Convert to local culture Italian. Um, do I want to become Italian? I don't know. Well, in any case, this guy right here, uh, this Spo Louis brand of Italy, he actually has started a to fabricate a claim on the Duchy of Genoa. Uh, and that will allow us to imprison him. So we'll do that. Imprison this guy. Ah, oh, damn you bastards. Alright, buy a favor. Buy a favor from our council. Stupid council again. Alright, how about you? Buy a favor? No. Request council support? No. Um, how about you? Doing stuff? No. Mm, okay. Well, while we, there we go. How about you buying a favor? Requesting council support? Yes. How about you, Mysticos? I think I've done that already. How about Sacularius? Uh, the Mount Religious Conversion. Buy a favor. Request council. So I'll rather buy a favor. Uh, so I have a lot of money. I did start the construction of a new castle, as well as of a sick house here in our capital of Rome. We still, we actually have the bishopric as our capital, which is kind of weird. Um, but yeah, I also did raise the Varangian Guard, as well as a uh, certain company, the... Uh, I don't know which company, some mercenary company, because we have the money, I might as well do something with that money. And yeah, basically I want to use that money in order to, well, act against this dude right here. Yes. So we'll imprison him and we'll usurp the king of Italy, at least that's the plan. And uh, okay, so I would like to call in council support, thank you very much. There might actually be something we can change, yes we can. Like that for example, we only have one supporter so far, that should change. Um, perfect. Mm, yes. Yes. Okay. And we have one more person. I want to call in your council support as well. And that should be enough to change this. Yes. Alright. So uh, we'll uh, revoke some more power of the council. Perfect. Everyone agrees. And can we also change some obligations or some other laws? We cannot. Oh, we can do this. Now, external war declaration, I actually kind of like that. I don't want vassals to fight each other, so we'll, we'll do this. Field vassals will not like that, but that's okay. It has been accepted. And now, we should go ahead and imprison you as well. Everyone will be for it. Perfect. And, yeah, he has risen up just as I expected, but we have 7,000 men already. Uh, ready to fight him. So there we go. Awesome. It should be enough. Uh, actually, well, we'll see if it actually is enough. Now, I also have... Ooh. Uh, as she's grown old, I can see Bilia uh, could use some guidance in some of my experienced areas. Well, but who, are, who even are you? You're some kind of bastard, I see. Well, you will get the uh, whatever focus. It doesn't matter. No, I think I'm not really going to do anything for bastards. Yeah, sorry. Uh, it's not even my own bastard, so nope, not interested. Now, I do need a new advisor, so I guess we're going to go with Salvatore of Anatolia. He wants to be on the council. That's both Bulgaria. Uh, we'll go with Anatolia, in fact. Yes. All right, we'll, we'll go for that. And 
Yeah, now we're actually making money still, which is incredible, even though we have a mercenary uh, party risen. Uh, or raised, I should say, risen. Yeah, I have, I have that one risen. I have it raised. And yeah, it's working, it's going quite well. I'm actually quite uh, kind of surprised about that. Alright, now I will probably destroy you guys real quick, which is going to be very nice. And ooh, 5,000 men, I should probably catch you here in Pisa. Hopefully I will. I might not. Okay, I did not. Well, we'll follow you nonetheless. We'll destroy you at some point. Siege. Our trade post has been sieged. Can we please, can you not s hold me back any longer? Thank you. Alright, we probably need another, yeah, leader on that flank as well. And Gottfried, you can be replaced as well. It would be very nice. At least by that guy. He's at least a little bit better than you, huh? Alright, so 5,000, 7,500 against 5,000. Looking pretty good. I mean, they are getting reinforcements, actually. Eh, that doesn't really look all that easy, to be quite honest. And yeah, we're still at war with Bavaria. Uh, but that should go relatively smooth as well. Okay, so this could be close. And what just happened? Uh, we just gained a whole bunch of stuff. Theodosius the Fat inherited the Duchy of Langobardia from Stefania the Resilient. Oh, wow. He just inherited a whole bunch of provinces. That's really cool. So does that mean I can like raise your troops again or something? Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, he, he gained, like, oh, everything. Amazing. Alright, well, anyway, we'll just continue, I guess. That kind of makes us stronger, doesn't it? Sort of does, I feel like. Alright, um, Himerios is no longer our court chaplain. He died, that's too bad that... Yeah, really, we have enough money, so it's not really that big of a deal. As a court chaplain... What was... Oh, this was the court chaplain, right. I would like you to research cultural technology in... Well... I think Rome now, isn't it? Yeah, probably. What is our what is our tolerance? We have 300 out of 450 that we need. Okay, we somewhat lost a battle somewhere. I don't really remember where that was, but that's okay. So, ooh, we're actually losing this. Are we losing this? I don't know. Yeah, we are losing this. All right, well, let's go back. Let's retreat. And gaps to Tutubus, the heir to the Duchy of Tunis. He has uh, become a fortunate builder. And he's married to the Princess Francesca of Italy. Heir to the King of Italy. Oh, that's good. Well, hmm. Yeah, I could tr plot to kill this guy. But then again, we don't really have a valid reason to kill him. Other than he, well, he did rise up against us. And we have fulfilled ambition to groom an heir. Even though he's not actually our heir. Okay, 9,000 men. I should send you to Pavia and just siege it down. Hey, didn't I tell you to freaking retreat? Like, why are you not even doing that? Like, alright, fine. Let's just, just get slaughtered then. That's, that's fine by me. Alright, well, luckily those were just mercenaries, so I'm not really concerned about this too much. With an unlanded son, Prince Gapstar. Aren't you inheriting something? You will inherit, in fact, so that's perfectly fine. Um, yeah. So, what I'm going to do with these guys? 5,000, actually. All right. That's actually not too shabby. 5,000 men, that can be still very useful. We just need to make sure that these 3,000 men don't really take anything back. In fact, I will probably send them over there just to deal with them. And I cannot let them take our capital, quite honest. Um, reigning in Rome. Okay, so we should probably be uh, leading here. Just so that we're not going to get captured. 8,000 men. I don't want them to take our capital. Rome should not fall again, but it might actually fall to the Italians. Uh, we're going to threaten this vassal, just so that he will stay out of all factions. And 5,000 men are probably enough to destroy these 3,000. Uh, okay, so she's finally out of that faction. Who else is in the faction? Ah, uh, Croatia. Alright, alright. I'll be able to deal with you as well. Go here and get out of the faction, man. I don't want you here. No one wants you in a faction. Now, the problem is, uh, this is actually going to be slowing down our conquest. Which I'm not too happy about, obviously. We need some more generals as well. Let's go and appoint some commanders. At least one. 
Captain of Ranging Guard, always good to see you. Always good to see you. None of them actually has any like particular traits and stuff. I can't even appoint him. I think troops now Quillier. Okay, he's over there. Nah, that's fine. Twelve and eleven. Come on. Just move. Ten thousand men should move a little bit faster than that. Alright, so I'm not sure how well this is gonna go. Um, what is with this guy? He is apparently... Religion? He's has been convinced. Do I want to become Catholic? I don't think so. Has he has he convinced me? He's brave. He's charitable. Well, I I don't think so. I think we'll just arrest him then. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm cynic, cynical, but then again, why would I convert? I just don't really care about religion that much. So yeah, that's fine. And we'll attack you. We have a new court chaplain. We'll go for the this guy. Mm -hmm. And I want you to please research cultural technology. It will be so good. Mm. Now I actually intended to give the bishopric of Rome to my uh, my Coptic, uh, my not my Coptic, but my Orthodox uh, patriarch. But that was not possible, unfortunately. I right, captured Abdullah in battle, and we'll see how well we do. Oh, we're probably not going to be doing too well because they have battle commanders in the center. Ooh, this is not going well. This is not going well. All right, uh, we'll threaten him uh, so that he will hopefully stay out of all factions. And he flat refused. Okay, things are kind of falling apart. Italy seems to be a little bit stronger than I expected. And we can now imprison Emperor Ludo. Why? What is your problem? What are you... Owes a favor. I don't even know what he's doing. We'll spy on this guy. Peace with Varissa. Spy on you. We'll just see what, what happens. I don't even know what he... What secrets he might be hiding. Okay. I don't know how they managed to get through that province faster than I did. And I don't know why we're fighting them right now. But there must be a reason. Come on, can we just retreat? Like, uh, I guess Isaac's turn off the Shadow Retreat. Of course he did. So now we're going to be hunted down. Uh, my spying emperor. My, my spying on Emperor Louvre has revealed his complicity in a Shadow plot to kill Akbut. Uh, okay, that's fine. I don't really mind. You're depressed. That's not good. Never good to be depressed. Alright, you guys, I'll send you up here. We're still making tons of dosh, which is nice. It was nice to make that extra ducat. And we definitely need to be a little bit better in this war against Italy. I kind of want to have Italy under my control, now that Rome is our capital. Alright, we'll uh, go to Achillea, which will give us a nice mountain uh, defense. You are going to arrive on the 23rd, 25th. And really? Alright. Well, we'll send our troops there in order to uh, defend. Ooh, and we were wounded in the thick of battle. Not good. Not good. Can I go into hiding? Not a commander. Okay. Hmm. Not good, not good, not good. Okay, I've got an increased amount of questions from Jeronka lately about God and the rituals of the Orthodox faith. Oh, well, there you go. Very nice. Converting our kids and someone wants to kill my son. <gasps> no. Alright, let's get, send you tiling and see who wants to kill my son. Who wants to kill my son? Maybe it's nobody. It might be nobody. Uh, and this is the guy with the claim on Bavaria. Uh, fuzzy, 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 fuzzy. Well, oh, that's fine. Let's go with that. Alright, so... Oh my god. We're too far away. I don't think we're going to be able to defend in time. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Dude, you gotta come. Ah, oh, fucking too late. Oh, you bastard. Ah, uh, way too late. Way too late in there. Alright, so a special legate from the eco ecumenical patriarch has arrived at my court. He's greatly concerned about the heretics and urges me to handle with them. Uh, okay, well, we'll see it. Oh, we've actually managed to turn this around. Holy balls, I did not expect that. Alright, alright, good. Well, we're trying to have to keep our troops together now. Um, because... It's not going too well. Ooh, justice is a harsh mistress and I can't love anymore. Ooh. So apparently we're no longer just, which means we can basically do anything to our people. 
This was what was holding us back, but you know, we, we were paranoid in the beginning, but just. Then we turned to a deceitful, deceitful, uh, we discerned cynical, cruel, and now we're no longer just. Okay. Hmm, I wonder what that means for the people in our prison. Actually, can I revoke your stuff now? I should be able to. I can. Alright. King of Sicily. Revoke it. We'll revoke it, of course. Um, can I revoke more than that? Yeah, probably not. Who can I give that kingdom to, though? Uh, it's just this. Oh, I see. Well, I can give the kingdom to... Okay, nobody, really. Um, you are just a count. Hmm, still, though, I might be able to do that. And also, at the same time, I could... Okay, I can revoke all kinds of titles. Let's do that. How about the, the Spo of Taurica? Revoke the Kingdom of Taurica. Yes. And we can give that out as Vice Royalties, in fact. Uh, Duke of Jerusalem. I'd like to reclaim that as well. And... Yeah, what else have we got? You are the Bishop of Chalcedon. Those are all the people I've imprisoned, really? Oh, that's kind of disappointing. I guess the rest of them have died already. Very disappointing. Very, very disappointing, in fact. Alright, so why are we at 27%? Oh, we won this. Oh, that was 30%. War score, this one battle. Pretty big. Pretty big indeed. Alright, so. Mm, title loss on succession. King of Sicily. And that. Well, uh, I guess you are the heir to Sicily and Torica. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't really know what to do with all these stuff. Uh, how, what are my vassals saying, anyway? You are pissed off because too many held duchies. You only care about the duchies, though. I have, I have Jerusalem, Berbera, Nikea. Um, how about... How about... I, I kind of now need more sons, I feel like. I truly need more kids now. Maybe I should change my focus. But the intrigue focus has been very useful to me, actually. I don't really know why I would change that. Um, but yeah, anyway. Um, kill Xane of Constantinople. I don't think I will do any of that. You are allied to... Or you're married to this Queen of Italy. Which is good. And I guess... We're going to arrive on the 19th of May. So on the 18th, we're going to make our way there. And destroy you. Just utterly crush you. You're gonna make your way on the 31st, 5th of June. Um, and we get a claim on the county of Ro county of Rome. Yes, I wanted that because once I am the king of Rome, I would like to revoke this county because I want to make it my capital. All right, and we'll go here as well. Just sort of because you're gonna to go to Crine, and we'll just destroy you there. Then that's perfectly fine with me. Okay, we just need to be able to yeah, deal with Italy as well, as they're kind of going rampage right now. We'll finish off Bavaria, and then we can maybe raise some extra troops from them. Yeah, we're, we're killing them very nicely here, and we are actually brave now. We are fighting in all of these battles. We probably shouldn't be doing that, but then again, we're not a craven, we're just paranoid. But on the battlefield, of course people are trying to kill us, but there are at least no shadows. Alright, so... This should be uh, over relatively quickly, yes. We have Copti imprisoned. Yeah, perfect. And you have improved as well. Good for you. Okay, so 98%. Are you kidding me? All right, Ho hold on. Can we now siege this down? That would be kind of nice, actually. Come on. 11,000 troops. Just siege that. It should go quick. Awesome. 100% against Bavaria. Off of the peace. Perfect. And yeah, we have increased the realm. All right, so a title Duke of Corinthia can be created. And yes, we will do that. And we'll actually give that title. Oh, wait, hold on. Duke of Corinthia. Hmm. Who am I going to give that to? Maybe this lady? Or maybe this guy? Yeah, he's content. I know that it really matters to me. No, I don't want to give it to him, that's for sure. Alright, well, how about Corinthia? Let's go all the way over there. 
But how about, let me see. You are what? You have one county. That's it? Well, that sucks. Can you arrange a marriage between, nope, this one. Much better. Between you and whom? My daughter. Mm, sure. Yes, we'll do that. 11, you're 12. Perfect. It will make that match only. It doesn't really matter, but we'll do it anyway. Alright, so that's a nice marriage. So we'll have Bavaria under control. 11,000 men, we'll send them to Pavia. And that is that. Okay, so you've accepted this. Very nice. And what else do we have? Title of on succession. Don't really care that much. King of Bavaria. Who do I want? Uh, Bavaria, Bavaria. This is Torica. Well, I'll get to nominate someone. I'll nominate myself. That's interesting. So, why is it not me then? I guess title is on succession. Yeah, if we die, we're not going to get the uh, this title. Well, that's fine. Anyway, things are looking good, I think. Are you fighting a rebellion or not? Alright, so now all we got to do is defeat these stupid Italians, and then everything is fine. But that will be in the next episode. The glorious Imperium Romanum uh, has grown. Bavaria is now part of our domain, which is very nice. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.